guys can do desk time and brain time, but you've been on action shows and cop shows for a long time. Have you ever had to do any sort of training with? I had to do a little bit of training, had to learn how to shoot, but I wanted to thank you at first. Uh, when I was backstage in yeah. the green room waiting to go on, your staff was so nice and they were so kind. They made me a nice spread of uh, spinach and popcorn. <laughs> and, uh, and I had, thank you. And uh, a raspberries. big bowl of raspberries, it was delicious, thank you. It's delicious, thank you, thank you. That's how we keep you coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what are you gonna be showing Rock? So what I have right here are zip ties. Zip ties is another way that criminals love to kidnap people. When you said yes to our show, did you know we were gonna zip tie you? I didn't know that we would be an all-inclusive kind of thing like this, no. It's easy to escape our promise, it'll okay. be two seconds. All right. So what I have on my shoes is actually paracord shoelaces. Mm -hmm. So this is the military cord. It's called parachute cord or paracord 550. The cord is amazing and it can get through almost anything. What I've done here is pre-made what I would make on my shoelaces. Got so it. I'm gonna grab a chair, have you sit in the chair, and okay. show you how easy it is to escape. Sounds good. So this me, is cool, I yeah, love this. Yeah, let me grab this, this first. We'll get you a front and center here. All right. And if you just wouldn't mind sitting down. Okay. Put your wrists together, and I'm gonna kidnap you, kind of. All right, so. It's getting freaky yeah. in here. <laughs> All right, so you'll notice I put on the zip ties. They're the industrial type. They're not the cheap white ones that you buy at any other place. Right. So this is I've what the seen criminals. I've officers actually use. Right, right, this yeah. is what yeah. criminals are gonna use, and also law enforcement. So these are very tough to break out of. But what you would do, and this would take obviously a little more time right. if you were in a building well, or something. Well, first of all, he'd have to be awfully bendly flexy to get down to his shoes oh, well, and untie them. It, well, exactly. Right. I mean, you can do it, but it's not it's something. It's going to take you a while. It's not going to happen as fast as duct tape. I'll put right. it that way. Okay. So what you would do is you would thread this through. If you want to lift up your shoe, put it over one, uh -huh. and then lift up your shoe again. Right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bicycle just like that, uh -huh. and you're going to see that pop off. Pop off. So just start bicycling right, right now. Ah! That Perfect. was awesome. That's exactly how to do it. Awesome. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. It's Thank not you. easy. That was really cool. Now what we're going to do is duct tape. Oh, duct tape. I have an audience member who actually agreed to be duct taped for our benefit. All right, let's bring her Can up. Can we bring her up? Jen, come on up. <laughs> the lovely Jen. <laughs> the lovely Jen. Well, don't hand me the tape, baby, because well, I know what you're doing. i this for now. Right. So most people don't realize duct tape is the number one way criminals kidnap people. Because once they go on, everybody thinks it's some superhuman material and they give up psychologically, they can never escape. Right. So Jen, I'm gonna show you in two seconds how to get out. I'm gonna have Rachel oh, gosh. duct tape me first. <laughs> well, let me do it duct first. Tape you yes. first. Okay. So you wanna put your elbows and hands together like this. Okay. Oh, you're gonna lose a lot of hair. It is that always all right happens. With you? It, it'll right. grow back, so I'm told. Well, it'll be nice and smooth for later. My wife will appreciate it. <laughs> and Rachel's gonna go around 2,000 times apparently. Perfect. All right, as, as you can see, I'm not a bodybuilder, Rachel, so it has nothing to do with being extremely strong. Right. It has to do with creating the angle. So what you want to do, Jen, is put your hands as high as you can above your head, and then you're going to pull down, and as you're pulling down, you're ripping your hands apart, and you want your hands to go past each of your hips. I know that's clear as mud right now, so let me show you how to do yeah. it. So all I'm doing is this, right. just like oh! that, and then it comes off. So. Yeah, it's, so remember, just go like that, and you okay. pull down and pull apart. Okay. So that I'll, is so cool! So here, Rachel, you can use the, uh, put your elbows together as close as you can, that's perfect. Yeah. Well, don't do it 10,000 of them. She's not a delicate flower, she can handle it. She's Let me strong. get out of the way here, in case face. something happens. She's tough. She is woman, hear her roar. <laughs> you want me to do it with you? Here, all right, all right. take me, I'll okay. do it with her. So put your hands together like this, and elbows as close as possible. There you go, perfect. And then we go around. All okay. right. Ready? Wait. Right. So up? So up as high as you can, and then yeah. remember, and then as the you go down, down, you're pulling apart. With both sides. Right, you're pulling apart Ready? so your hands go past your hips. One, two. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Very nice. It does hurt a little bit. Yeah, you didn't knock your wind out, did you? All right. You did awesome. <laughs> One note that we both agree on, we just hit ourselves in the stomach. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to do that, but you got that out. actually hurt quite a bit. <laughs> no, it was a good one, Jen. Thank you. Keep that as a souvenir. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>